Burkina Faso's revered revolutionary leader, Thomas Sankara, wanted to decolonize mines in Burkina Faso and across the continent. Still, his revolutionary dreams were cut short when he was gunned down at age 37 in a 1987 coup after just four years in power. In 2022, 34 years after his demise, 14 men were on trial for taking his life, including Sankara's former friend Blaise Compaoré, who participated in the 1983 coup that brought Sankara to power. Sankara's widow, Miriam Sankara, even said that Sankara knew that he was at risk all the time. Known as the African Che Guevara and an admirer of the Cuban Revolution, Sankara was a hero to many, who said he championed national sovereignty by rejecting aid from the International Monetary Fund and other foreign bodies and countries whose plans are to keep Africa poor and dependent. Many talk of Sankara's advancement of women's rights by banning forced marriages and female genital mutilation. He also made education a key priority. The country's literacy rate increased from 13% in 1983 to 73% in 1987. Also, he oversaw a massive national vaccination campaign. Sankara lived an austere life, reducing his salary and banning the use of government chauffeurs and first-class airline tickets. He sold the fleet of government cars and preferred cycling to work every day. However, his detractors said he was an authoritarian leader who violated human rights, including sanctioning arbitrary arrests of political opponents and extrajudicial takeouts, although there's never been any evidence for all these claims. Blaise Compaoré reportedly plotted Sankara's overthrow and takeout after he lost faith in the revolution. Sankara and his other comrades were arrested and marched out of a meeting at Kampore's office before being shot at point-blank by the coup plotters. Foreign countries, including France, Ivory Coast, Liberia, and Libya, were unhappy about Sankara's pan-Africanism and played a key role in his demise. An inquiry into Sankara's end established that French agents were present in Burkina Faso the day after the takeout to destroy wiretaps targeting Blaise Compaoré and Jean-Pierre Palm, a gendarmerie officer implicated for his alleged role in taking out Sankara. Compaoré succeeded Sankara as president and went on to rule for 27 years. There was no investigation or trial after Compaoré took control in a coup. He lived in exile in neighboring Ivory Coast, where he fled after being forced to resign during mass protests in 2014. However, Burkina Faso's former coup leader, Demiba, who took power in a January 2022 coup, invited Compaoré and other ex-presidents to participate in a reconciliation summit amid rising insecurity linked to an Islamist insurgency in the north. Compaoré, who ruled Burkina Faso for 27 years, fled to Ivory Coast during a 2014 uprising sparked by his efforts to change the constitution to allow himself to remain in power. Compaoré has repeatedly denied involvement in Sankara's death. However, Blaise Compaoré was handed a life sentence in April 2022 for his role in the 1987 takeout of Marxist revolutionary Thomas Sankara. In today's video, we see how a former fighter pilot, Sankara, seized power in a 1983 coup at the age of 33, promising to tackle corruption and the dominance of former colonial powers. He publicly denounced the World Bank's structural adjustment programs and refused engagement with the IMF. Sankara's modest lifestyle won him public support. This included riding to work on a bicycle and selling the government's fleet of Mercedes vehicles when he was president. Deeply influenced by his study of Marxist revolutions, he urged every village and city in his country to organize into committees, local bodies that promote social welfare for the defense of the revolution. During his four years in power, he declared war on corruption and changed the name of the former French colony from its colonial name, Upper Volta, to Burkina Faso, which means land of the upright people. Sankara developed complete independence in his country by giving its people confidence in themselves. He is seen outside of Burkina Faso as an anti-imperialist revolutionary who spoke for the oppressed and bolstered his nation's sovereignty in the face of the former colonizer, France. Today, we see how Burkina Faso's 34-year-old interim, President Ibrahim Traoré, is walking in the footsteps of Thomas Sankara. 
Young people in Africa are looking up to him and other young leaders to push out oppressors and put an end to neocolonialism and imperialism. We've created a video on how Traoré plans to finish what Sankara started. Make sure you watch it too. Let us know your thoughts about Sankara and those who took him out in the comments below. Make sure you like this video, share it with friends and family, and turn on notifications so you don't miss any of our exciting videos. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in our next video.